Well, you may be asking why you are here. Um, not only to be part of, of course, uh, we'll discuss some important issues, hopefully. Uh, we have, you know, got together here under uh, a Tempus project. Uh, it's called La Manche. Um, it's about leading and managing change in higher education, which is a very, very important subtopic. Well, today we will be introducing you IBSU here, and then we will talk about the Lamash project for a while. Well, uh, why, not the, why not to cooperate with other uh, companies in Georgia to see the needs to make changes here? You know, how to make changes? It's up to you. You know, the people coming from outside, from ministry. You know, you, you, you see the picture maybe better than sometimes we see because you, there are many other institutions, you know, that you, you uh, control and you easily make the comparison and you easily tell us that, uh, you know, uh, that this, this would be good, you know, if you apply it here, if you make these kind of changes. Uh, that, the, the, this is the, actually one of the aim of the meeting. The companies already know what changes we should make in terms of curriculum development. You know, you may, you may tell us as a uh, TBC Bank, you know, they, it would be good if you teach students, let's say, uh, SPSS or Excel, I don't know, I mean, this program. If you teach them, uh, well, you know, finance that part. And then we are gonna just simply make changes in our curriculum uh, to modify, uh, you know, to your demands, which will help our students to, uh, you know, find a job easily in the market. And then you all know that changes in the market also uh, continue. Uh, and as a university, we should adapt that. You know, we cannot stay back somewhere, uh, you know, we, from, from the market. We should always consider what the market needs and make changes accordingly. Uh, well, I would like to once more thank you uh, for coming. Uh, hopefully, your, your contribution uh, will uh, help us to make some changes. Thank you again for coming. Thank you, Mr. Rector. Um, I'd like to speak about why the project is there, the background of the project, very briefly. Um, we, we all know about the common challenges. I mean, we have a representative from the Minister of Education here, she can talk better. But there's an increasing competition among the uh, HEIs, higher education institutions, right? And internationalization is becoming a more and more um, challenging issue because both the students and staff need to go around the world. So the institutions must align their curricula in accordance with this with, with this change. Um, unfortunately, all of us are facing some financial issues, and that's for sure. And um, usually, the companies and the the public sector complain about the irrelevance of the curricula in terms of producing the right graduate for the work. Isn't that so? Um, therefore, we need collaboration in that issue. Um, well, you know, we just mentioned that we have weak links between education and research and innovation and undeveloped knowledge transfer infrastructure in universities. And we, you know, as the universities, are not ideally equipping our, children, our, our students with the right creative and innovation or innovative skills. They call it the employability skills um, at the moment in this trendy world. So the aim of this project is to develop leadership skills and introduce the culture of streamlined change management in universities um, to face these challenges. Well, how can we do that? We can do it all together. We cannot expect you to change us, or we cannot, ex we cannot expect, uh, you, you cannot expect us to change you to think like us. So we should get together and talk about our challenges together. Um, well, we can always maybe, you know, plan get-togethers like that, you know, drink some tea and eat some baklava here. But you see the number? Um, we have invited many guests, but we don't have the, the right amount of people. Um, it's because we are overloaded, and it is the, the you know working hours time right now. So that's why the La Manche aims at creating an online platform that we can share our ideas um, on an, you know on the internet platform. Um, the director just mentioned about the number of countries here. There are many countries involved in this project, and everyone is 
um, trying to reach uh, a, a successful change. Well, I just mentioned what VTT is. It's a virtual think tank, and the virtual think tank's mission is to form an internet-based community at a larger scale um, for sustainable dialogue on higher education reforms among the stakeholders. What we mean uh, about the stakeholders will be explained um, soon. We should raise awareness on the European higher education area because we're all involved in this, you know, especially the, the, the young people, oh, everyone is young, um, expect all of us went through the Bologna system. Um, so we need some structural reforms to, um, to get the very stake stakeholders involved in the necessary change for producing the right graduates. Well, why are you here? Um, most probably you believe in the importance of the universities um, and our role in developing the society. That's why you're here with me. And th that the stakeholders should get, should get together to discuss the related issues about the current trends. So um, we need to provide a platform for critical dialogue, if you like, uh, for this change management. Well. The, um, the people that we call here are from policymakers, including the ministries, um, leaders, academic and non-academic staff of, of higher education institutions. We have the Ilya State here, we have IDSU representative here, representatives here. We have business representatives, right? Uh, we have we we call civil uh, society, but they must be very busy, and student organizations in the same way. Um, well, I, I'd like to cut the introduction part short um, because you have already discussed some issues with the, with the director before we started. Um, and please let me know if the idea is not clear. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you also have some more information in the folders that we have provided you. Uh, what we would like to do now is I'll leave the floor to Doga uh, Dr. Rajesh and I'll ask him to elaborate on that. Yeah, there is two people. <laughs> sure. Please. I will speak in Turkish, but. I will say that 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 Thank you. 
Second semester, if I, I have chosen co-op education, it means I have to go to uh, companies and I have to work there. And third semester, it is not third semester, but it is continuation of next fourth month. Yes. So they come to university again, they go to uh, companies. So half uh, education in companies, half education in uh, universities. So this is the need for uh, in, uh, engineering, of course. But uh, why companies should receive freshman students and what they will contribute?